They will never gonna stop. G63 2020. Doesn't matter the mileage. High pressure pumps and low pressure pump upgrade. Uh, you have to clean it before you open it, Omar. Yeah, I will blow with the air. No, you're not gonna blow with air. You're gonna wash it. Then you're gonna blow with air. You're gonna make completely dry. Whatever it's higher than the lid need to be washed. So when you open it, don't feel anything inside. Don't contaminate the tank. Now, low pressure pump. Mr. Omar said me, oh, make a video, make a video. Okay, make a video. It's it's much better if I don't make a video. No, why you want? It's better. To I'm gonna explain why. Yeah. I'm gonna explain why. Come here. I have mentioned a million times from where it's sucking the fuel pump, all right? Mm -hmm. Okay. You see this membrane down here? This one? Yeah. All right. From here, there is a membrane on the original pump mm -hmm. that, it's, that it's sucking from here. There is like a venturi and starts picking up the fuel from here. When you have both pumps like this on the air, you see? Uh -huh. You get my point? Yeah. You see, it's the primary filter. Under the primary filter of this pump, that it, it's not gonna work, it has this valve. This valve, you see, it's sending up here where's the regulator. That's the regulator inside. So, what does mean that one? The only way to come inside of, the, of this basket fuel, it's naturally, you're gonna fill it up here, if the fuel is higher than the basket, and from the other side, that you put this pipe here, and it's coming, it's filling up also from this side, yeah. the fuel inside the basket. Now, let's see the terminals that's okay, that's torqued down, to don't have any leak. Alright. Yeah, yeah, that's the other valve here. And you see that comes pressure from the original pump here, and then this continues to the other side of the tank to pick out the fuel. Maybe it might be here, in, I don't know. I don't know how it is on this, in this tank. We'll gonna see later on. Yeah, washing it, preparing it, and then opening it. Okay, Omar, what do we have? We have the two levelers here, okay? Mm -hmm. We have this one that's dumping fuel inside. We have this one that's pushing fuel to the other side to lift it up. And we have also another one piece that's dumping fuel here. Yeah. Give me the other pump. Give me this pump. The upgrade one. Ah, okay, it has it has it here. Yeah. So it gets from the three points. There is, hold it over there, put again, don't be contaminated, put it in the box. So there is, there is one that comes here, one here and one from the bottom. Mm -hmm. There are three points. On the upgrade one, the lower one, it's not working. Okay, so now, it's over there, okay, you want to suck the fuel from yeah. inside? I have to suck the fuel. Too. Okay, suck the fuel, it's going to be more easy to install it. Yeah. Alright, is, wait, wait, is it clean the pipe? The pipe, the pipe, make sure that the pipe is clean. If you tighten it too much, you're gonna crack the lid. It needs, I don't know, five newton meters. It's by feeling all the time. Is it okay? Don't ask me, I don't know. Now, if you lose the negative mark and the positive mark here, that's with the marker, you need to open it to see physically which one's the red, which one's the black, and you can verify it also this on the pump. You see that it goes one to one, that means black with black here, and then if you follow it on the pump, there is a negative mark on the pump. Yes, that's the positive and that's the negative. And this, Omar, this no need to tight so much, eh? okay. otherwise you're going to have a problem with the Allen inside. I'll gonna tie it for you. I'm just saying, if I'm not here, maybe I'll gonna die tomorrow. You never know, right? Take a look, Oma. Okay, now it's been connected. This pipe, it's been connected. This one is sliding inside, and it's been connected also the lower there. Then the two fuel level sensors is been plugged in. This rubber, you're gonna. Expand, you're gonna burn, you're gonna go away. Remove it, Omar, remove it because you're gonna yeah. fail inside the tank, you're gonna float in this. I'm talking about, yeah. you don't even have to put that one because always destroying this one. I haven't found one piece to say that it's surviving. Okay, then you, you try with one hand to put the plug back in place. Okay, you put back the plug in place, lock it. Now, 
Mr. Omar, a little bit of Vaseline to put on the lid. Okay. This is pointing this way. There you go. All right. It's pointing that way because it comes the pipe like this. And we will gonna route also the wiring from here through the existing fuel line. There is even space, you know, yeah. to put it there. You can put it there to be nice. It looks like a stone one. So, okay, you brought the Vaseline. I have to leave the phone. I cannot do it with one hand. That's how it looks like from up. A little bit of Vaseline down on the lid, a little bit of Vaseline here, so to slide nicely and lock in place the pipe back in place. Now the tricky part, the cable. The cable, Omar, I cannot give you a torque specs because it's all about the feeling. And if you see, if you see that it turns the, this bolt, you need to open again and to make sure that it's torqued. You know what I mean? It's a nightmare. Yay, lovely. Okay. Let's connect the, the two plugs the two terminals and that's how it looks like one cable tied here for the cable another one here another one here another one here then passing through this one then mr derek you're gonna route it properly over there okay the rest of the wiring the pressure sensor here the rest here and that's it now omar you want me to to show you anything else you want the high pressure pump something i want to show you high pressure pump okay make the car down to okay and you want this video public, eh? There is a problem if you do it in the public. For me, no. I don't, I don't even have. I just want to uh, do my, my, my reference if I want. Yeah, yeah, it's fine, it's fine. For you, yeah. No problem. Yeah, but to no, be honest, I don't give enough. I found your video, you to Yeah, see, okay, we are not pointing a number plate, we are not pointing chassis number, we didn't even point the color of the car, so we don't give enough. You're listening, Mr. Omar. <laughs> you install the pump. Okay. What pump is that? How about the 170? 200, what's that? 200, yeah. 200, oh 200. boy. Oh boy. Okay. And uh, I have to modify the lines here now. You want to modify the lines? Uh, where it comes here? I will put the filter there. You're going to put the filter there? In okay. The bar. Make sure to be safe. Yeah. Now, how safe is it going to be? I don't know. Here's going to be the thermal sensor, right? Ah, you have it here. I could do like this, okay, right? Okay. Uh, and from this side, you torque down, you're yeah. okay. Yeah. I use the center tool also. Alright, if it's not touching anywhere, if it's not bothering anything, I guess okay. that's how they want us to install it, right? Yes. Finish. Here I don't like, I will do the modified then I will show you. On but what? I can't put the pump here though. You cannot put the pump? Yeah. Which pump? The, oh, sure, filter. The filter. The filter. You cannot put the filter away because because of the bar. The bar. The bar is coming only here. I want to put the filter here next to the bar. I can use the clamp, the filter yeah. clamp. Here yeah. The filter is hanging always in the air. So bar, yeah. like this bar, I can put the bar here and the filter here and use the uh, clamp. It's not shaking. Okay, sir. This is my plan. I will show you. Okay. Clear. Um, you want me to start the video now? It's okay? Yeah, it's okay. Thank you very much. Thank you.